Hi everyone, you reach Chronicles of the Grey Hair Diva. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. For all of you out there, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. Hit the like button, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back and share my video with your friends and family so that they can come to my channel and get to know me also. I'm here today with a quick video, my tea time moment. And I'm sorry guys, my tea time moment of the day is coming late because I was extremely busy today. So anyway, I'm having a, a ice cream tea that I actually made myself. It's fabulous. It's delicious. One day, maybe when I upgrade my whole camera system, um, I make the tea with y'all live or something like that. Or maybe I pre-record myself making the tea. But right now, let's get to our tea time moment. So my tea time moment today is dedicated to Monique Samuels formerly from the Real Housewives of Potomac and Love and Marriage DC. Now, Love and Marriage DC, um, shocking for me, is getting a second season, but even more shocking, Monique and Chris Samuels will not be returning for season two. Now, before I get into why uh, Monique is not returning, let's talk about this. I'm not quite sure if those other couples are going to be able to hold Love and Marriage DC down without Monique and Chris. Now listen, the only reason why I truly watched Love and Marriage DC was because Monique and Chris was going to be on it. And not because I was so much in love with Monique, but more because Monique promised that we was going to see something different from her, okay? She said when she was on The Real Housewives of Potomac and she had her exit, she was like, I will never do reality TV again. What happened to me on The Real Housewives of Potomac was messed up and I'm done with reality TV. But besides that, she said, I don't need reality TV money. Okay, fine. But Carlos King came along and he convinced Monique to do Love and Marry DC. He told her, listen, everything you wanted to do over there at the Real Housewives of Potomac and did not get to do, come over here to own to Love and Marriage DC and you'll get to do that. Well, Monique Samuels, she showed us her true self. When she got over there for Love and Marriage DC season one, um, even fans that love Monique, end up turning on her because they absolutely hated the way that Monique was treating Chris Samuels on the show. So they was done with Monique. So, but with that being said, Monique still was the star power that got people to watch Love and Marriage DC. Now, Ashley and DJ Quick, um, from their first round on Love and Marriage DC, um, they felt like they were the stars of Love and Marriage DC. And I guess now they're going to get the show improved for season two if they really got that star power. Will people watch Love and Marriage DC without Monique Samuels and Chris Samuels? I don't know. I'm only going to watch to see if they can pull through this. But I'm really not that interested. And this is neutral ground for me. But I'm not that interested in Ashley, DJ Quick, and, you know, the other couple that was on the show. So time will tell. I think it starts back up in January. I watched the first two episodes. And if they don't grab me from the first two episodes, I'm done. But let's get back to Monique Samuels and her and Chris not returning. Now, there's a whole lot of rumors floating around as to why they are not returning to the show. One of it was um, contract and money. First of all, Monique, if she thought for 1.2 seconds that she would ever get Bravo money over there at own, she has absolutely lost her mind. So part of it, people were saying that she did not re-sign the contract because she didn't like the dollars that were involved. She felt that she should get more money. Now there's others that saying she didn't go back um, because one, she didn't kind of want to address all of the shenanigans that are going on with her and Chris Samuels, especially because 
earlier this year, I want to say that it, it got out because Ashley said that her and Chris and that Monique was going through a divorce and it was that whole debacle of, you know, where they getting a divorce, where they not getting a divorce, where they separated, so forth and so on. And then Monique came on her live and saying they were still together. And so there's rumors that about that, that they say she didn't want to address, but there's also um, some other rumors that they said Monique didn't want to address that could have perhaps came out on the show. So all I want to say is this, um, is Monique done with reality TV? I, you know, she's saying that she is. I'm saying that Monique loves stardom. She loves fame. And if the right person comes along, offers her and Chris a reality show and offers it with the right dollar amount, we'll see Monique back on our TV yet again. And if, um, Love and Marriage DC does not get the ratings that um, Own and Carlos King wants it to get without Monique. I do see them circling back to Monique and asking her one more time and probably offering her more money or the money that she really wants to get. And then that way she will have more um, negotiation power if they have to come back to her because Love and Marriage DC is not surviving without her. Um, I see Monique going back to reality TV because despite what Monique says, I think she absolutely loves the cameras. I, and listen, who, no matter how much money you have or don't have, even you see the ultra rich, they're still doing more stuff or still working to get more money in their bank account. So if there's an extra check out there for you to get and you use the cameras following you, why wouldn't you get it? So listen, guys, chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. One, do you think... Love and Marriage DC will survive without Monique and Chris Samuels. Two, do you think Monique did not go back to Love and Marriage DC because they didn't give her or offer her enough money? Or three, do you think Monique didn't go back because she doesn't want to deal with possibly um it coming out, you know, that there was some cheating and on what side, it doesn't matter that there were perhaps some cheater going on within the marriage between her and Chris, or perhaps they were on the verge of getting a divorce and Monique and Chris just does not want to address those issues. And maybe they said to Carlos, listen, we'll come back, but you got to protect us from all of these rumors and all of these issues. And if you don't agree to do that, then we're not going to agree to sign on the dotted line and come back to Love and Marriage DC. I don't know, guys. Time will tell because you know what happens. The truth with all of these reality stars, it ends up somehow, some way surfacing and we get to find it out one way or the other. So chat with me in the comments, guys. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. And tonight, if you're free, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be doing my recap on Love and Marriage Huntsville. It was another heartfelt episode. Kimmy cuts off all her hair. Uh, Martel admits that he made a huge mistake by not sticking in there and hanging it out and working out his marriage with Melody. Um, I love the episode. It was real. It was heartfelt. Got a lot to talk about. If you are a Love and Marriage Huntsville fan, join me tonight. We're going to have fun. So I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.